Okay, welcome back everyone. In this um, section of the video, we are going to add the login screen. Right now, the login screen is embedded in the home screen, which you can see because the application only supports one path. So we're going to add an additional path to support login. So we're inside of a uh, router index.ts. We're going to copy this because as those who have been following along know, I don't like to type it that much. And we're going to say login will be the name. And the login is the path and a name will be login. I'm, I'm going to switch to lowercase. I just like it better. So login here. And we're going to do something different here. Um, we're going to show you how you can lazy load these components. So what will happen is right here, what this does, because the way it's imported, let me close this out so we can have more screen. We're importing it so it will load um, this component when the app starts up. By using lazy loading down here, it'll only load the login component when, when uh, we actually need it. And the way that you do that is with import. So I, if I go like this, we can just uh, actually import the component that we need when we need it. So we just say import views slash, uh, it's not components because we're going to, it's going to be a top level view and we'll just say login dot view. Right. And so what will happen now is that only when we actually hit this path, will it attempt to load this import load this component. So now that we've put it in our route, let's actually create it. So let's go over here. And I think where are we in source views, and we're going to put it right here at the top level in views. So let's uh, create this new page login. Um, give me some room. We'll use our vbase3, uh, vbase3.ts to kind of give us the basics of what we want. Our template the type is TypeScript, our component, and our styles. Um, next, what we are going to do, and let's do the basics first. Let's put a name. I'm going to call this login. So that's the name of my component. And then the other thing that we can do is, since we know Actually, to make our testing easier, let's we're going to go here and we're going to say our just for now, we're going to say our default path is login. Uh, okay, and then now let's go up and set this back to default. So what we can do is because a lot of the basic setup for login page is similar to what we mentioned. Um, as you know, we need our kind of header and all our router, sorry, our header, our title, our page context and all that stuff. Let's just go to home and we can start with borrowing a bunch of this. So we know for the bunch of start uh, at the top of our app, we want our page, our header, our toolbar, our title, and our ion content. So I'm just going to copy it from here and go back over and just put, drop it in at the top here. Sorry. I want to keep my template. So we'll drop it in at the top and then we'll close out our padding. I mean, we'll close out our ion content. And then as usual, we need to include all of the required um, ionic components and we can save a little bit of time by just getting started here. It looks like these are all the basic ones we need. So we can copy all of these over also. So you can see we have the content, the header, page, title, toolbar. Um, we're not going to use loading and we are not going to use footer. So we have everything. And then of course you need to um, add the components to your single file component. So we can come down here and say components, and then we can add all of the components here. And we'll just, uh, we'll just copy them from up top here. We'll add our components. Um, element is missing a tag. I am page, oh, I didn't close out my page. And content, I am page. Okay, let's see if we get some little better. All right, so now we have our title, our header, and we can, I think we can squeeze login in our title. Um, so we are now on our login page. So if you recall on our home page, our login page, if you call on our home page, so let's go to our home page. We actually have the bulk of the login information is coming from this, this login, this, uh, where is it? That's where is my if user if full screen if auth not checked this login panel. So all we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to utilize this login panel inside of our login page. So let's 
just copy the login panel. Let's go over to our login view. We will drop our login panel there. We now know we need to actually import a login panel. So import uh, login panel from, well, that should be in our components. Oh, I'm going back. So components login panel. And so we'll import that. Then let's go down to our components here and add login panel. And you can see we have our login panel showing up now. I'm just complaining because I want to put view on the end. So now we have our login panel on our page. Um, if you notice our login panel emits this uh, do login function. So we need to account for that down here in our setup. So we know do login, we need to return a do login. And now we need our do login function, which we can take from our home screen because it no longer needs it. Let's also clean out this. It doesn't need the login panel any longer. So let's remove that. But there should be no login panel on the home screen at this point. Um, but it's saying it's been registered. So let's remove it here from our home screen so we don't need it. And then the last part is it is using this do login function, which it also doesn't need any longer. So we're going to copy our do login function out of our home view and we're going to add it into our login view. Okay. And now our login view needs access to the store. So we will also borrow it. We will not take it. We will borrow it from the home page because the home page still needs access to store for some functionality. So let's copy it. And also, as you can see, we're using this composable use store to get us access to it. So let's go to our home page. Let's add our store um, view X, not view router. My apologies. Okay. So now that's set. And now what's left? It's do login is not defined. Oh, it's complaining because I'm returning do login and do login does not exist any longer. Okay. So now we are in my simple now we are in my app, we have my login page, we have my login button set. Um, let's, let's see if we get everything we need in place. So let's go back to our router. Let's set the default path to home. So that we can get it back on our home page because I think I already have a user logged in. So let's set our app to just go back to the home page. So Let's let me make this a little bigger so we can see our path. So, okay. Now our app goes back to the home page and it, I guess we must not be logged in because we don't see a user. So let's go to our login page. It wants us to log in. Let's use our buddy. Let's log in. And then now let's see if I can go to my home page. And it looks like on my home page I have a user, so let's log out. So let's do a little something different. We need the the last step of what we want to do on our login page is after we dispatch the login and if login has worked successfully, um, we should redirect to the um, home page. So let's let's get the app to send us to the home page after login happens successfully. So kind of to do that, we are going to go into our login page and we are going to do a router replace and send us to home. So basically we're saying if my login happens successfully and then send me to the home page. If not, if this fails, then it should throw an exception. Exception should be caught in the alert and so it won't change the route. So um, we are gonna do a, the same way we did a use store, we're gonna do a use router to give us access to the router for us to tell it which path we want it to go to. And we need to import use router from view router. So that was what I wanted to do last time. Let's do it correctly this time. So now we have use router. Okay. So we, um, I have to switch back and forth between the routes because we haven't updated the router yet to handle the, to handle the login state and the logout state. We're going to do that after we get all the pages put together. So this is just a way for me to kind of test the pages and make sure that um, I'm redirecting to the right route when successful. So let's go back to my login page. So now I'm on my login page. I am already logged in, but just to kind of show you how this works. So let me click login. I logged in and now it redirected me to the um, user page. Okay. So that looks like 
a good place to stop. We have our login page. We're capturing login information correctly and it's taking us to the right route. Let's make sure that our errors are happening. Let's see if I go back to my login page. Let's make sure we're still throwing our errors correctly. So let's just try putting in some bad data. All right, it's still throwing the errors correctly. We're gonna correct this with the proper Ionic alert. But for now, um, we've accomplished what we wanted to do, which was to get our login page in place. All right, thanks to the next step, we are going to add a create account page that you can get access to directly from this login page. Um, we will capture the information that you need to create the account. And um, then we will, it looks like we're gonna to need to add a new function um, at that point to actually create the user account. And, and then the final thing that we will do in this section is we will uh, continue to modify um, the appropriate changes in the router because we want the, well, we, we're going to need to pr protect these private routes. And um, also the other thing is we're going to need to update the Vuex store to a, at this point, we need to add a dispatch function to support creating a user account. So that's what we have coming up in the next couple of videos for this section. And we will see you there. Thanks. Bye.